number one, and that is the- Dude, life was so good before 9-11. Entertainment. Anyone who tries to make a distinction between entertainment and education doesn't know the first thing about either. Famed sociologist, Marshall McLuhan. How do we teach the children drooling all over themselves as their brain is poisoned by subway surfers and prime energy in a world where education has been systemically abducted from the loving embrace of entertainment? One Polish man sought to solve this dilemma, a scholar of our time, fit to cure the plague of idiocracy, a man who said three powerful words, words that would change the course of history forever. Rape is good. Let them goon. Go ahead, do it. You have sexual needs, desires. You want to, you need to. Do it for you. Hell Take It is a puzzle game. I think, maybe, I don't know. I'm clinically retarded, yet I breezed through every puzzle with nearly a single brain cell being activated. So how is this puzzle game with stinky paedophile puzzles celebrated? Well, it activates something else. You see, anything can be successful as long as you appeal to the simps or gooners. Based off of appearance? Maybe. Anime is a prime example of why two moves just wasn't enough. <laughs> Some will say they are the same, however there is a definitive distinction between the two. Gooners are very open about the fact that the product and or media is shit and they just want to beat it. Whereas a simp Nigger. will pretend the product and or media is good and the personality of physical abuse, scamming, deplatformation and 2 out of <clears throat> is actually really endearing if you sit through 10 hours a day. But in spite of the differences between the two, they are both lonely incels who will never lay a finger on a 3D woman. Unlike me who achieve such feats through violence. So to satiate their need of coming, some Polish dude added a bunch of tips. Now the game follows a trend of making the depictions of biblical characters as accurate as possible until they can slap some tits on or make them gay. Gayer. The game starts with the option to start a new game, or just jump in at the end despite never playing before. Something the devs thought impossible, as when I selected new game for the first time, it asked again. Ambitious game design to say the least, assuming the player has already played before playing, then you are immediately hit with the greatest plot I've ever seen. Wait the Coochie? Coochie. Being placed into the game, I immediately see the goal. You can't kill them. This deeply displeases me because I hate polygamy and some of these bitches be as the great philosopher Ted Bundy said, mad annoying as a result of them all having distinct personalities, like this one, who is tired, or this one, who is free, and this one, who is very angry and likes bad video games. What should be an easy number one waifu placement for me, however they are immediately outdone by Smokey. Do you see what I see? Is that a flat one colour smoke cloud? NIGGER! But how do you even get to the waifus to pick, in what could be described as HOT CHICK HEAVEN? An actual decent puzzle game. I redact my previous comment. I made it before playing. I however don't redact the statement enough to change the script, not say the line, or edit it out of the video. I'm in fact going to add editing to me saying it, and then edit in this section talking about how I'm sorry for the thing I did in this video. That I could have just edited out. This hypothetical reminds me of a certain someone. The puzzles consist of skeletons that need to be kicked into walls, locks that need keys to open, spikes that need to be not stepped on, and rocks that need to be kicked. Now if you have a tiny delta male brain, you may require help, and in these instances you can request it from your collected femoids. This advice ranges from nothing, to not at all helpful, to this bitch ass nigga, you're gonna stay on my dick until you die. Eventually the puzzles become a hell of their own, I mean look at this one. Truly mind melting. But the biggest trial of all, the CEO of something I forgot. In order to win them over, you need to not be incredibly horny. The true filter moment of this game. If you achieve the feat of being a normal functioning human, you are swiftly punished by the for your three deadly sins of greed, lust, 
and Ego. I thought it was 5 sins, but I'm somewhat known to be not not correct. After the arbitrary indie game completely changing genre for no reason, but not awful this time, the game forces me to compliment not only a woman, but a... No comment. And the harem is complete. Unfortunately, you experience the Islamic paradox of having to live in a house enduring a myriad of women. Here is just one woman. Now imagine that, but 72. Don't lose your way. But in times like these, when all is lost and you are in a dark sea of despair, there will always be a glimmer of light, and that light, she's so fucking based.